Hello students, welcome back to another lesson online. In this case, we're going to be working on simple budgets, which is kind of a review for most of you. Um, when we think about budgets, the first things that we need to think of is what are the parts of the budget? So budgets are usually divided in three parts. The first one is the net income. Then you have expenses, and then that's going to be equal to balance. So you take the net income, you subtract all the expenses, and then you get the balance. So to have a balanced budget, so I'm gonna, let me write that down, a balanced budget. That means that the balance right here should always be zero. Here it should always be zero. You cannot have extra money there. So when you subtract the income minus the expenses, for the budget to be balanced, the resulting number should be zero, always. So typically on the test, we have a table like this, where you have the income. The income can be divided in two, three parts. People have multiple jobs. So some people have one income, which is good. Some people have two incomes or three incomes, even four incomes, depending on how much you work. But then the expenses is are divided into you know, rent, gas, food, uh, clothing. Some people have fixed expenses or variable expenses. That depends on your lifestyle. Anyways, whatever you have on the expenses, when you subtract the income minus the expenses, the result should always be zero. So let's take a quick practice right here. Let's say that I have an income that is $500 and I have some expenses. Rent, $150, gas, $20, food, $100. I want to know how much money can I have for savings, right? So as because you know that the balance should be zero, now, what do we do to figure out how much you have for savings? So this becomes into a, a whole part type of problem. So let me show you. You have a total, which is your income, which is $500. And now you're taking away different things, right? You're taking away rent. You're taking away, um, let's see, gas and food. Gas, food. And you're also taking away savings. When you add all the expenses, that should be also 500 because the top is equals or is equals to the bottom. So the rent is 150. Let me use a different color here. It's 150. Then 20 and 100. 20 and 100. All right. And I want to know how much do I have for savings. So this model tells you exactly what you need to do. You're going to add up because you're taking away 150, 20, and 100. But you cannot take away, take away, take away. The best way to do it is to add all the things that you're taking away and then take it away once. So 150 plus 100 plus 20 it's going to be seven, 270. Now I'm going to take away 500 minus 270. That's going to be 3, 230. That's going to be how much I have for savings. So let me go back to my budget. So for savings, I should have $230, which is really good. All right, so go ahead and complete the practice and then take the test. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.